everybody and welcome back to Deb Creates and today we're going to have a look at the Inuit or the Eskimo and the Husky Dogs. So, um, so this one came from a book and it's called The World of Knitted Toys and I think I got this from a charity shop actually uh, but I have looked online and you can still get it. So it's by a lady called Kath Dalmenis. Kath Dalmenis World of Knitted Toys. So um, that's D-A-L-M-E-N-Y apostrophe S. So if you wanted to look that one up, then we have here, it, it's, um, it's basically um, people and animals from all around the world. So we've got um, Australians, we've got... Um, We've got koala bears, we've got tigers, we've got cats, we've got pigs, everything in here. Very, very interesting book. Uh, we've got penguins. So here there's, um, there's a sea world. And there are your penguins there. Um, there's also, uh, most of them have a little person to go with them. So, uh, so the sea world has, oh, there's the, uh, actually, uh, no, oh, they are actually all part of the uh, the Eskimo snowy region. There you go. So we've got all sorts of creatures there. And so that's where I've taken this young lady from. So I'll, uh, I'll pop her out. I need to have a proper look at her. So I made her a little sleigh, which is just a box. And uh, I just cut a, cut, cut a hole out of the top of the box and painted it with some acrylic paints. So that, uh, so that she has a sleigh to pull. It, it's not brilliant, but the kids would love it anyway. Um, there she is. So she was great fun to make, really, really fun. So I gave her some sparkly boots just for the hell of it. Um, everything's fur topped because it's cold out there. So, uh, so she needed a big chunky coat with a hood on and that comes down, you can take the hook down, there you go. Um, so yeah, so she needed to be warm, so lots of clothing, a nice woolly scarf on there. And her hair is, is little plaits, you, you just plait the wool. And I just wrapped it then with, um, with a bit of spare wool. And, uh, and those little plaits, that makes her hair. So, um, so, so the body and the legs, that's all knitted in one. So that's not too bad. And, and the, um, the actual, uh, the boots, that would be knitted in one. And the only reason that they look like boots is you put the fur around the top. And, uh, and that makes it look so. But the cardigan is actually separate. So her cardigan would come off. Her scarf will come off. But uh, otherwise than that, the rest of the body is all knitted in. So I've uh, got a bit of a fluff on her. There you go. Let's put your hat back on. So, uh, so yeah, so um, fairly easy to make if you can make a doll shape then you can make this doll because uh, she just follows a regular pattern um little ears you have to make the little ears they're not too bad stitch on the nose but i didn't find her to be a challenge i thought that she was quite simple so as long as you know how to increase and decrease then you would definitely be able to make this young lady so and then all of the um all of the people in the uh, in the book follow the same pattern. So, uh, so to, to make the pattern for the uh, for for the doll body, once you've made one, it's just the clothing and the colouring that make them different. So, uh, and uh, so we've got Australians and we've got uh, Indians and we've got all sorts of things in here. So, uh, just have a quick look and see. There's the Australian. So I can show you the Australian person. And there's your little Australian person and uh, some kangaroos and things for that one. Uh, this is a farmer, I think. So that must be a British one, probably. Um, there's a South American Indian. So again, he's rather interesting. So um, so it's all based on little 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 worlds, really little little countries. And uh, so we've got snakes, we've got sheep, we've got everything in there. Really, really interesting. So loads of loads of things to do, loads of patterns, lots of animals. So um, if you're interested in things like that or your children would like 
things are. It's quite good for children because it's kind of educational, I expect, of like which animals you find where and things like that. So it does make a sort of educational toy. Uh, the husky dogs, there are your husky dogs. So again, as long as you know how to increase and decrease, then they're quite simple really. The patterns are quite simple, uh, not too long to make because they're quite small. So, um, so yeah, I found that they were not too bad at all. So I think that uh, if you have a little bit of, uh, of, of knowledge of knitting, then, uh, then you'd definitely be able to make these. So even if you just make the dogs or the animals, it's quite fun, isn't it, to do? So, um, but yeah, I think it would make um, a lovely present for a young child. So, um, so yeah, there she is. And uh, if you like my little Eskimo and Husky Ducks, give me a thumbs up. And uh, coming up next, um, I did mention before that I'm going to try and make the dog from the AA adverts. And um, his name is Tucker and he's a sort of a little terrier, scruffy looking terrier. Um, and I'm going to have a go at making him. It's just that I haven't got around to it yet. So, um, so hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll have Tucker to look at. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to subscribe, then Tucker will be coming up next. Thank you. Bye.